What up? Good morning. <clears throat> this is your bowl, <clears throat> Bishop Draster. And um, I'm going to try to get straight to it because I have an appointment at 10. And it is already 10. After 10, I still haven't seen anything come through from what I need to connect to. But make the long story short, <clears throat> um, let me see if I can address this question to my brother Thomas. And the question was, musicians... How do you practice preaching preacher chords? And I'm hoping that I'm understanding the question properly. Hopefully. <laughs> so, the, um, I guess the way I'll probably would address this is it really depends on the preacher. Like, for example, I have to get accustomed to the way my pastor my new pastor, you know, presiding pastor that I have now, on his style of preaching. Now, chord-wise, <laughs> if we're talking about preacher's chords, I can play preacher chords in um, the way I'm going to approach it. But what if his style is a little different? <clears throat> I don't know if that makes any sense. But what if his style is different? Because you might have a preacher that might preach fast. You might have a preacher that might preach slow. You might have a preacher to preach in the middle. <laughs> or both, or all three. Uh, it just depends on that individual. Um, I know when my former pastor was preaching one day at the church, you know, he was preaching all over the place. In all kind of keys. and um, Yeah. So what I did with him was respectfully said, hey, because he actually came to me. He was like, what happened? So at least he did come and ask, right? So respectfully speaking, I told him, I said, man, you was all over the place. Um, he said, what do you mean? I said, well, so let me just demonstrate. I, I'm not a pastor or a preacher, but you know, I know how to hoop a little bit. Some preachers can sing, some cannot sing. Some preachers just talk, like I'm just talking right now. So am I sounding like I'm preaching? No, but if I know my vocal tone is C, and that's the vocal tone I have. I can play around with preaching chords while I'm talking. And I'm just talking. And so all I'm just trying to say is that God is good, right? I'm not really hooping loudly or raising my voice and screaming and throwing my head back. But I got chords, right? And so the thing is, is... <laughs> You know, preaching chords. So, you can develop preaching chords all day. <clears throat> you can listen to about a thousand musicians and get a thousand different ways of doing it. And now, was that way slow? Or, or I could speed it up or be in the middle or do all three. So, it really depends on the style of the preacher. Some preachers might preach, you know, can I get a witness? Uh... And next you know they over here in the C. I don't know why or F they might hear F. And then next you know you got you know, next you know you might hear them in B flat, B flat. And next you know you might hear them go to E flat. And next you know, for whatever reason they ear hear a certain particular tone. So you have to know your pastor, your preacher, or whoever is behind the mic. <clears throat> yeah, behind that mic. Um, but yes, so if I am understanding the question, let me unlock my phone. <clears throat> if I'm understanding the question, how do you practice preacher chords? And um, so it depends, like I said, on the preacher. I can develop preaching chords all day. Or keep it simple, like I just played a minute ago on C. To the one, the three, Three up, four, four up, you know, to the five, and back to the one, right? And just play that simple move. And I'm just, I'm just talking my normal vocal tone. I'm, I'm not talking, you know, I'm not screaming at the top of my head, you know, and throwing my head back and all that kind of stuff. It's my, it's my regular vocal tone. Now, <clears throat> if I understood the question. <laughs> How do you practice, right? Um, playing preaching chords. Um, 
I did see a few comments on there from just a few people who kind of came with their idea. Um, yeah, you know, I was mentioning how my former pastor was preaching all over the place. So, respectfully speaking, because he came to me and asked me what happened. And I was trying to keep up with him, but I couldn't because by the time he was preaching in C sharp, da -da -da, that's half step up. Da -da. Gonna get up. The next thing you know, he's an F. Uh, and, and, and so I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't get to this chord yet. But next thing you know, he's an F. And then, you know, he's in B flat. I'm like, wait a minute, how'd you get there? And I'm like, whoa, Doc. Whoa, Doc. <laughs> and before I can finish getting set up to go to F, he's already in F shot. Okay, anyway, so, yeah, <clears throat> so how um, every musician might have a different response to this, but this is my response to it, <clears throat> is that it all really depends on the preacher, on what kind of um, singing he can do, or if he can't sing. I've been in situations where there's preachers, <laughs> I know it sounds funny, but I've been in places where preachers, they've been ordained to be preachers or ministers, and they can't preach. So what do I do? Nothing. No music. Because they don't have a melody line. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's funny as it's a sound, but it's true. They have no melody line. They can't sing. I don't know how they got ordained, but they got ordained. All right. But there, there, there I've been in situations like that. I'm not going to say where. <clears throat> but I have been in situations I'm like, wow, man, you can't, man, he can't sing? Or, or or even just hold his vocal tone very long enough to give you that, you know, oh, okay. Ooh, he's in C. And I'm like, oh. He don't have some pre, I don't know how these preachers got our name, but anyway, for ministers, even elders. Even elders. And I'm like, wow, man, this is crazy. I'm not even a preacher. <laughs> I'm not ordained to be preaching or nothing like that. And I don't take this to, to be fun with it. You know, I respect the, 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 the ordeal. But the question is, is how do you practice? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So I can make up stuff. God said, let it be light, you know? That's my th vocal tone. Can it, God said, let it be light. So the question is, how do I practice? I'm like, oh, God still let it be light. And there was light to the three, to the four. And there was light, and there was light. You see what I'm saying? That's what, I, I hope that's the question. I'm hoping I'm answering the question um, properly because sometimes you have to sing it out to yourself mentally. <laughs> or out loud and it's not that you disrespecting the preaching uh whatever you want to call it right you know the preacher's rights to do what they you got to practice that's the only way you can do it this is no different from you learning how to play a song you know like uh i love you though i love you though i love you though i can't sing right <laughs> i love you though i got to sing it out today as I sat there, I had to practice getting my passing moves. Da, 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 that's why my heart is... I, you have to sing it out. You gotta sing it out. So yes, how do we practice? I'm hoping I'm answering the question <laughs> for what I think I'm reading because it asks the question for musicians out there, how do you practice preaching chords? So I'm hoping that I'm answering my brother's question appropriately uh, in the way that um, it might be um, asked. I mean, it's obviously, yes, we have to practice. 
Um, but it asks how. <laughs> so I'm showing you how I do it, you know. So God said, let it be light. And God said, let it be light. God said, let it be light. God is it to be light. I'm practicing it. God said, let it be light. I have to sing it out, you know. Different God said, let it be light. I have to practice. God said, let it be light. I have to practice it. So hopefully, <laughs> I answered the question. Now, sometime ago, many years ago, <clears throat> I was I was doing this, and I was like trying to get it together. So one day, I decided to try to preach through the thing, and I told you I'm not a preacher. I did this so long ago. It might let me let me let me listen to it first. <laughs> All right, but I did this on um, the C. Uh, let me see, man. Make sure my volume's not too high up. And then this is me. I'm not a preacher, but I'm just saying, how would I go about doing it? I don't know what key is gonna be in. Wait. Oh, am I connected? Wait, oh, this side. Will give you everything that you need. Anything that you pray for, God will open up the door. The only thing that you have to do is believe and trust. Yeah. Him. Casting the devil out because he's a lie. Yeah. God is true. God is real. And all you got to do <laughs> is believe in him. And I want to let you know that God is I didn't, I, I, y'all, I, I didn't even remember. I had to go back in memory when I did this, um, cause I was trying to come with some ideas, right? You can go on YouTube, Google up some preachers, um, <laughs> sorry about that. You can go on YouTube or anywhere on the internet and Google up preachers online. <clears throat> they might, uh, have no music behind them as they're preaching and then 
go for the kill, right? You know, but the thing is, if I'm answering this question correctly, and I'm hoping that I'm answering it correctly, based upon what I was reading, <laughs> how I'm just demonstrating how I would go about doing it, right? Like I said, you know, I um, decided that, you know what, the only way I'm going to be able to teach myself how to play preaching chords, and I do them simple, you know, I do them simple. I just do that and then I go back to the one all right and I do them simple so I'm hoping that I'm answering the question um <clears throat> the way that the question was asked and um so I just wanted to come on and address that and it did say musician how do you practice preacher chords so this is how I would do it but you know I don't really need the recorder anymore but I did want to address that Every preacher do not please preach the same. You might have fast preachers. You might have slower preachers. You might have one in the middle. You might have one to just do all three. <laughs> do all of the three moves. And this is how I would have done it. I don't have to do it that no more like that. But it just depends on who you're playing for. <clears throat> the style of that preacher. Like, I'm still trying to get accolated to my new pastor style. All right? And so, um, yeah, he's been my pastor for a little while. All right, uh oh, is it time for me to go in my appointment yet? Yeah. Is it? That's my sister. Johnny come late. <laughs> my sister thought that was my appointment. But, um, <clears throat> so it depends. It depends on that individual. It depends on that preacher, that individual, on how he or she is going to project out preaching. But again, my approach is, as far as court is concerned, I keep it simple. One to the one, then I move up to the three. It's tritones with the secret sauce chord. <clears throat> this is the minor chord, All right? This is minor move. Right. <clears throat> and then now I have the diminished move on the four, four up. You know, one, two, three, four, four up. Same chord I played on the one is on the five. Stay on the five, I use that tritone over major. And then I go back to the one, one, bum, 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 and I use the secret sauce when I did that. It's a tritone. Okay. Alright, so that is my approach to um trying to simplify something. Um because <clears throat> I can tell you my story that happened years ago when I was playing for a church <laughs> for this preacher. And um, he always preached in C-sharp no matter what. But for whatever reason, when he had guests, I guess he decided he wanted to start flexing his abilities, I guess. and Or showing off. I don't know what it was. But anyway, next year I know he was in D. And I was like, oh, wow. Um, yeah. I mean, at least I knew the corner of the chords. And I knew how to transpose up, you know. But I couldn't I couldn't get the other chords to, to, to come and hit me on the three. And then the four and the four up to the five. I couldn't get it together. So my homie ha happens to be there that day. And he got on and kind of helped me out, bailed me out. I promise you by the end of the service, <laughs> they didn't have to worry about paying me that day. But I, they wouldn't pay me. But I didn't grab my check. I just left the church and said, you know what? I'm coming straight to the house. And because of that question you asked, how <laughs> do we practice preacher chords? Preacher chords. So I came home and decided to do something simple. Maybe a five chord progression. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, six. All right, six chord progression. And then that last one was just back to the one. Bum, 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 with the secret sauce chord. So maybe a five, six chord progression. Something simple that I'm going to remember. So then when I came home that day, that Sunday after that happened, um, when he was moving all over the place, I was a little embarrassed, but I was, you know, y'all, can I say it? Nah, I want to say I don't want to offend nobody, but um, yeah, I was, yeah. <clears throat> Somebody know what I'm trying to say, hurt. <laughs> so I came back home and said, all right, and literally that Sunday, I walked in here, popped his keyboard organ on, and I started working on my craft. 
It's called transposing, moving chords that I already know how to play, and move them up. Move them up. Now, you can one at a time do chords, or you can do chord progressions, right? One, that's my second chord. That's my third chord. Sorry about it. What are my fingers doing? Use the tritone with the minor move or whatever, diminish, and I just repeated this whole move. One, two, to three. One, two, three. Now you notice that same chord I hit. Remember, right? Did you notice that? But I put that that movement right there on the three. Uh, okay, the step the difference was the tritone. I had it on the D tritone and the E tritone with that same secret sauce chord. D seven sus four. Yeah, catch what I'm doing, right? Uh, up four diminish. Same chord on the one. Hit you with the five, still on the five. Ba, 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 ba. All right. So I said, okay, four or five chords, transpose. You know what I'm saying? And go up with the same chord. I know it. And I'm just repeat the thing. So I remember, <clears throat> if I played in C sharp because that's what the preacher always preaching. Can I get it when? The God one two three same secret sauce score it's good y'all notice it's a minor chord with the tritone minor move it's the minor move with the tritone double up so we're going to the one two the three I might walk up to it sometime ba, da, da. to the four the tritone and the minor chord. Going up to four, plus four, diminished move. Play the same chord I played on the one. Now I'm on the five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I you do the tritone move. Tritone with the major move. Of course, I know some other voicings that I can use too. Oh, my, my appointment's late. Wow. Hope I... <clears throat> I, mean, I hope I didn't miss the text. Alright, so anyway, yeah. And then back to the one. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Something like that. Alright. So then I do the same thing, take the same chord progression and move up. Two to three. And all I'm doing is transposing. Minor move with the tritones. I'm playing the minor chord. Alright. Minor move with the tritone. Up, four to half. The diminished move. Same chord I played on the one. Now, I might not want to play this voicing. <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> I know I'm going to an F major chord, but I can do it in version. <laughs> and then back to the one. Ba, 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 ba. Remember the secret sauce chord. <clears throat> now, when I probably get the E flat, I'm probably not gonna go this voicing up like I did D. I'm gonna go for the fat chord. Cause Richard, what you really actually playing, y'all, is the major move and the minor move <laughs> and a major move. D flat, F minor, and the left hand technically. It's like you're playing two chords at the same time. Oh, I can use the word. Let me not say F minor. I meant to say D flat and A flat at the same time. You're playing two different major chords, actually. And all I'm doing is spreading it out, making it sound like I'm playing a big chord in the left hand, which I am. I'm basically playing D flat, technically E flat, A flat, D flat, A flat. And bringing the A flat chord up top, which is the second version, also oh, root. And all we do is put that together and you get there. Now, 
Now, I know you're probably going to say, wait a minute, but that looked like you playing a D flat major 7. Yes, that's true. <laughs> D flat major 7 over A flat. You can look at it from that angle too, right? But I just said D flat, A flat. That's just the smart version of so the short version of the voicing. D flat over A flat. Yes, it seemed like you were just playing an A flat, D flat major seven, which is true, until I add that note up there, you got D flat and A flat. And I'm just playing it in the short version. Now you know you could put that same voice in, in the key of A flat, one, three, four, five, one, five. And okay, I'm about to play this chord that Devin played. <laughs> to the one, five, one. Actually, you voiced it this way. Now, A flat, C minor, E flat, G minor, B flat, they're all related. Okay. <laughs> all right. I think my appointment forgot me. Let me see. So, I'm going to do the E flat, the big chord. Now, probably when I get to the five, I'll go ahead and play it, the smaller version. Well, remember, inversions. Maybe not. Maybe I might play the five chord, the one chord on the five on the, the one chord in E flat and do it on the five. One, two, three, three, four, five. And play the same voicing. Let's see. Can I give it witness? They're gone. It's good. Say yeah. Remember in verges, y'all. Depends on what you want to do. One, two, the three. Up four, four and a half, or I can go inversion to the five. I might go ahead and play the back chord on the five or do the inversion. I'm just using that cluster move. I might not want to play that voicing. I might want to say and play the chord the fat way. Well, we call it the fat way, but I might want to do the inversions. The major chord inversion. I might want to use the sus4. I might want to use an augmented move and do that as well. D major sharp five uh, at the seven. I might want to change the voicing, see what I'm saying? So, I guess to answer the question, I hope I answered it. <laughs> All right, turn this off because I got the battery going. Um, wow, my appointment really forgot me, I think. Um, oh Lord. All right, so that's how I would approach this um, practicing in all 12 keys, the same thing. Now, by the time I got the E flat, I will repeat the same thing. Remember, Inside or out? Inside or out? We know you can go to the five. One, two, three, four, five, and play the same voicing. We'll make the chord fat. Oh, same kind of scenario. If I if I didn't want to play this voicing and change the voice, we'll change the bass line to F. At B to F, B to F. And you know. So it really depends on the approach, <clears throat> which are, which, how you want to voice your chords, right? So that's how I would do it when it comes down to preaching chords. I'll just choose about five or six chords, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, I might do some other stuff, you know, just really depend on that preacher. And um, y'all know the story, how you feeling it, all right? I broke my fingernails off now. Or how are you feeling the moves? I mean, you know, the situation might cause you. Or, you know, you know it, just, it really depends on the situation. I know a lot of cats be playing all these different voicing. Shaking up. Pedals, you know, you know, you know, 
So everybody has their own little way of doing things to the world. I can walk that up. Let me see. Uh, uh. Let me see how I do that. Out of God. Out of God. <laughs> see. Because I haven't played preaching chords in so long. Something like that. I'll give you some of the Devin moves. y'all this is your boy andre so hopefully um <clears throat> mr tracy i hope i asked you the question in the way that um the question came out all right i gotta go find out what happened to my appointment uh and uh yeah because that's 30 minutes late all right peace of love and cornbread <clears throat>